What's the situation? This is the location. Here is the gate to Tesla's factory. Zubov has established a base to defend it here. Taking it out is our main priority. Understood. What are these? Two smaller bases. We've had to repel their attacks constantly. How long has Zubov been in the factory? Too long. Anakos, one of our irregulars, tried to assassinate him when we couldn't break in. Unfortunately, she was caught. We think she is being held here. All right. We will set up here and take some pressure off you as soon as possible. We are not in this fight alone any longer. Harry, we don't know what they are doing in there. Set up an operation space, establish defenses, and find whatever resources you can. New primary objective received. Don't mind me. I'm ready. Period, Kotik! Sounds like a plan. Anna, are you alright? Yes, thanks to them. Allow me to introduce Gunther von Duisburg and, um. Olga Morozova. I am friends with your brother. Why are you fighting on our side? The question should be why not earlier? We have a common enemy, Zupov. And we must put a stop to whatever he's doing in there. That's music to my ears. What are you waiting for? didn't think we'd make it. Thank you. No one could have survived that alone. Let's get Zubov. Is Yannick still with him? Yes, and hopefully... What the...? Let's get going. Whatever Zubov is doing in there can be good. Herr Commandant, it is my duty to inform you... Enemy forces approaching. That. Cover our backs. We'll stop Zubov. Lead the way. It's over. You lost today. What's going on here? What did you do? Colonel Zubov, if you would kindly lower your weapon. What the hell are you doing here, Gunther? Same as always, kicking your ass. 
I wish you had come before this fool tried to take the factory by force. He activated the Icarus protocol. Icarus? We've flown too close to the sun. Now, we will all burn! Okay, why is this thing looks like a robot from Incredible Movie? What's it doing? Leeching energy. A couple of these and it'll be fully powered. Look, the armor. Now is our chance. Give it all you've got. They're in my sights. The enemy is upon us. It's We're barely doing any damage. Avoid, <laughs> look at the Void Tech. Crazy bear. I'm just gonna paw this motherfucker, he says. Yeah. It's not dying. Oh god, oh god, not this thing. Forget that if they want to 
Shit, run, 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 run. Something. Need some help? What the? Looks like our Muslim friends didn't like seeing their commander leave them to die. We're all of the opinion that there are bigger problems. That thing is bad news no matter where you're from. This thing is so slow, I hate it. going mate oh something is gonna happen here or what Come on, you evil robot, just go down. 
Icarus, we can stop them. <laughs> You're delusional. You can stop an organization that plays to people's lowest instincts. Do you not think there are thousands of people out there willing to trade their morals for a little bit of power? Do you think reason and knowledge can win against prejudice and fear? This is their century! I've tried to stop them. I had the ears of emperors, and yet, I failed. It's not emperors who will defeat Fenris. It's us. You're right. I am Olga Morozova, an intelligence officer of Tsar Nicholas. This is Anna, hero of the Polanian Resistance. Over there stands Gunther von Duisburg, the legendary Saxonian tactician. You'll notice that we are not trying to kill each other. In fact, today we fought side by side against a common enemy. Wicked people who work in secret, who will stop at nothing to gain power. They call themselves Fenris, and there is no end to their ambition. Olga is right. Distrust, revenge, fear, these are their weapons. But they are ineffective if we trust instead of fear. Forgive instead of avenge. Build instead of destroy. We have more in common than what separates us. And there are good and bad people on every side. All we have to do is find the good ones. It is said that all that is necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. I believe all of you to be good men. And, uh, women. Damn right! I don't know about all of you, but I'm done doing nothing. Who is with us? Yes! One day, I'll ask you to free me from this suit. But for now, I still need it. Will you join us? You're all dreamers. I like that. Dreamers move the world. Can any of you weld? Uh, uh, me! We need the defenses up and running within a day. And we need housing for all these people. Please, don't tell me this was the end. Damn it. 
it's not triple a quality but it's really close to it story wise it's kind of dull but it's still an indie game like it's alternative reality to the post world war one it's enjoyable i highly recommend this game it has multiplayer as well Again, there's some unanswered questions. Will Yannick gain his body back? Because Tesla promised them that he can do this. Will there be any continuation of the story? Have no idea. And I really liked how they used real life names. Rasputin, Nikola Tesla. Also some of the animals. Uh, Wojtek. No regrets that I played this game. But in all of the concept arts, robots are like a kilometer tall. But uh, in-game, they're like uh, three or four store buildings. So that was quite disappointing as well. Like, uh, I expected to see a titan size max. Like, legit. Like, skyscraper size. So Zubov is still alive. They will add some missions with DLCs. Oh god, please don't let that happen. Like, DLC madness again. Maybe they will add one country with DLC. God knows. Combat wise, uh, compared to the company of heroes, it's much more chunkier. The unit movement is not fluent enough, if I'm gonna compare it with company. Especially hiding behind covers. Infantry combat wise, uh, it's, it's bad. But mechs are awesome. There's tons of mechs you can use. But yeah, that was the main story of Iron Harvest. I'm giving it 7 out of 10. Tell me what you think about this game guys. I'm gonna see you next walkthrough, peace out.